I'm Adam Bishop, I'm Britain's strongest man and a six time world strongest man competitor. And I've done some pretty challenging events in my time, but today I'm going to be learning how to play snooker. I think it's probably going to be the toughest of them all. Hi, I'm Katie Martin, and I'm the ladies' former world number four snooker player. Hi, Hi. I'm Adam. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Yep, I'm here to teach you the uh, snooker basics today. Perfect, I'm looking forward to it. So, obviously, the, the, the chalk on like the, the tip, is it? Is that the yeah, that, the that's, that's your tip there, so you just brush that over. I'm guessing nice that's the same because we use chalk in our world as well. I'm guessing that's just to obviously create a bit of grip on the yeah, ball and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It does. Yeah, okay, just so when the, the tip touches the wire, it, yeah, it helps to grip it. Sure. So The first exercise really is just to um, get you hitting the ball straight, just yeah. to see how straight you hit it. Okay. When you walk into the shot, Okay, um, you want to have your right foot in line with the with the shot. Yeah. So if you draw a line from the chalk mark right through the white, you'll see that's your line. Does that make sense? So this, my, my foot's on that back line. Yeah. Okay. Your foot's on that line. Obviously, we see with your build, we we'll see how you how you feel. Yeah. And then you'll obviously reach down and address the cue ball. Okay. So you, you generally keep that left leg bent slightly and brace your right leg. So that's the, the, the right leg's a bit straighter? Yeah, okay. so it, it just hopefully enables you to get down. Obviously, if you feel like you need to bend both knees, that's sure. fine. It enables you to get right down onto the, onto the cue. Okay. okay. And then what you'll find is as you come down, if possible, okay, just lightly touch your chest and your chin onto the cue. My chest might be too big for my chin. <laughs> As long as you've got the chest contact point, that will yeah. help, because the idea yeah, is to yeah. keep the cue nice and level. Now, can you see your bridge? That's a yep. good bridge. If possible, can you, Do that's that. it, just pinch that, that first, yeah, that's your index finger and your thumb together just to right, form right. a groove. That's okay. good. And then keep the cue on your chest. Now, can you come, can you lower your cue a little bit? Yeah. It's a bit more level. Yeah. And then when you're ready, push through. So you follow through and a little bit, that's better, a lot smoother, isn't it? See the difference? Look at that. It's nice and straight. Perfect. Hey. Okay, so we're going to set up um, just a blue into the middle. Hopefully not too difficult. Yeah. So now I'm looking at the white and then my eyes are flicking to the blue, looking at the white, looking at the blue. And then when I'm ready, I pull back, nice pause, then my eyes are on the blue, eyes are on the blue, eyes are on the blue. Oh yeah. That's it. That's good. Nice, good. There you go. Very good. Pot a straight one. Yeah. Aim at top first. If you just imagine a clock, I'm going to aim at 12 o'clock. It's going to spin forward. Right, okay. Okay, so the white's going to follow the red. Have a go. You're just slightly aiming on the right. Yeah, see, if we can keep, way. yeah, keep. If you can, with your bridge, try and Put your, can you just pinch that together a little bit more? And you've got quite big. Yes, yeah, so I've got this extra, <laughs> bit of, this extra bit of hand here that seems to do the problem, isn't it? That's better. And then just push through nice and smooth. Good, that's much better. Nice in the middle now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to play and we're going to aim at the bottom of the white. Yep. Okay. And so you probably hear it called a screw shot or backspin. Yep. Put, pull the cue back nice and long. Okay, and then go through. And nice. then sit. Nice, good. Go on. Excellent. Really. Right, so have a little look at that. Now, yep. how would you sort of how would you sort of look at the, uh, I mean, do you f well, find that? Well, what, yeah, what I'd do is I'd like, I don't know, I'd usually like line it up like that. Yeah. And then keep focusing on that spot on the back and come around here. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'd do if it was a pool yeah. ball. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty good because you can, I mean, I tend to imagine a ghost ball. So I just line up, obviously in my head, I just imagine another ball directly behind the black. Yeah. And oh, then, and that's aiming where the... But that's exactly what you said. It's that yeah. it's that point because it's still that point that you were looking at. Yeah. That when you're lining it up, so that is the same thing, really. Okay. I, I I quite like to imagine a ball there because I can then see exactly where I'm aiming on the black. So again, just exactly the same. Get down, address the ball, and then a nice pause. 
Nice, very good. We'll just try and aim in an area, either this area or this area, to, to try and play for a red. Um, oh God, I've not a clue, to so, be fair. So, you know, again, you're not, you're still concentrating, nothing changes, it's just you're aiming at the top of the ball. So, you still concentrate fully on the pot. Nice, good, good pot. Just, just a, just a little, a little bit, bit harder, yeah. Good, nice. That's okay, but sometimes when you when you push through and you, this, that's yeah. easily done because yeah. you because you, you weren't you were sort of stabbing at it before. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Just you, you're going to probably over hit it when you try and accelerate through. That was good. The playing backspin, it's going to come directly off of the angle of that ghost ball. If yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So your stun, obviously, when you played it here, it stopped dead. Because it was straight. Because it was straight, so it's got nowhere to go. But once you've got an angle, it's still going to stun, it's going to stop. It's not going to go forwards or backwards, but it will stop and then come straight off of the angle. Yeah? So I've gone quite high, so I've gone a bit nearer to the reds. Yeah, nice, that's much better. And you just, and you're just a little bit firm, you know, a little yeah. bit firmer. Okay, so a little challenge for you. I've set up the last three colours um, of the colour clearance. So we've got blue, pink and black. And we're yep. going to try and pot all three. Right. So pot the blue, set up for the pink and then the black. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. Easy. Nice, good, well done. Yes, well done. Okay, so you literally, what do you think here? Well, my first instinct would be to bring it, just to roll it. Yeah, just run through, yeah. Just run yep. through for the black. So way. similar to what you've literally just played. Obviously, okay. you're a bit, you know, you're, you're pretty straight on this. So yeah, yeah, just a little bit of top run through for the black. Okay, you was all, your hand was awkward oh, there, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and move it forward. Okay, okay great. Okay, just Thank so you, you can get much. your hand, just so you can get your hand on the table. Be kind to a beginner. <laughs> Yay, nice one, much better. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Good clearance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's way harder. Like even this table compared to a pool table with the pockets and everything, it's so much less forgiving. It's a lot know, harder. Less, less it's, it's, it's just a bigger table, so you yeah. have to be that much more accurate. So, But no, you did really well, really well. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs>